Hello everyone, this is Subhadra Malsami, partner at AK Malsami and Associates. Yet again, we are on a very debatable and interesting topic, which is on virtual currencies and trading. And today's discussion is all about knowing your legality and the legal rights and what are the risk factors involved. So in this digital era, most of the young minds are into trading of um, virtual currencies or bitcoins or cryptocurrencies, whatever the terms may be. So today we need to know what is the actual status about these cryptos in our market in India and what are the uh, risks or the laws involved which can safely protect you in case if you're going to get uh, yourself invested into cryptocurrencies. So today we will be discussing about first the basic which is what is cryptocurrency as well as what is the legal position of the cryptocurrency including the taxation angles and the pros and cons of cryptocurrency. So what is cryptocurrency as such? So it is a virtual or digital currency that is secured by cryptography to secure information and its communication techniques which are derived from mathematical concepts. So it is not like paper money, it is a digital currency and it is not being authorized by any central authority. So it's a peer-to-peer -peer system which enables anyone around the world to uh, send as well as receive money around the world. So instead of uh, physical money which is being carried around to get exchanged, Crypto or virtual currencies are just uh, online transactions which are made where digital entries are specifically made for each and every transactions. Moving on to our next question. So what is the legal position of cryptos in India? So currently cryptocurrencies are unregulated in India. We have a draft bill on banning of cryptocurrency and regulation of official digital currency bill 2019. So the bill currently prohibits uh, the use of private cryptocurrencies in India but however there is an exception given by the government where the underlying technology of the cryptocurrency and its uses are being allowed. So under the draft bill, mining, issuing, transferring, selling or use of the cryptocurrency is punishable with both a fine as well as imprisonment for about 10 years. So under the tax angle, cryptocurrency will may possibly fall under the concept of a property. So as it is used to describe uh, capital assets, so making it taxable under the Income Tax Act of 1961. So the Finance Bill 2022 has proposed to provide uh, for taxation of income of virtual digital assets, which are VDA. So any income from VDA is taxed at the rate of 30%. So for your information, VDA, which is nothing but the virtual digital asset, is defined under the section 247A of the Income Tax Act. So taxing of cryptocurrencies in India does not give us the legal status, but also the government has not clarified whether the digital assets or the cryptocurrencies are legal tenders in India. So now we will be talking about the pros of cryptocurrency. Uh, so cross-border transactions will be dealt at ease because this is a digital medium of transfer. So these transactions are secure and private. Plus uh, the cryptocurrencies also enables for a lot of foreign investments to happen into our country, especially for startups. So let us uh, look into what are the cons of using the cryptocurrency in uh, our country. So the first major flaw is we don't have a regulated law which deals particularly with the cryptocurrency. The second aspect is about uh, though cryptocurrency is being used online on a digital medium, uh, this also opens to a large extent to a market of carrying out certain illegal activities, especially financing for terrorism and uh, other things. Uh, most importantly, there is no central banks or uh, exchange authorities which will mediate all these transactions uh, in case if there is any other issues also to deal with these kind of uh, irreversible transactions. So to conclude, I would like to uh, say that it is as much as it is good to explore the online medium and the digital currencies in our country, it is also important to take into uh, the aspects of the pros and cons of investing in cryptocurrency or 
digital currencies. Uh, since we do not have at the moment any regulated laws or um, uh, central authorities who are governed with these kind of transactions. So it is uh, extremely important for you to know what is the current state of the laws in our country before you enter into any kind of investments or have any kind of digital transactions uh, being made with cryptos or bitcoins. So thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, see you next. Bye-bye.